All right, so one of the best parts about our team is we get to work on the farm with our ministry host every day, growing these incredible vegetables and crops, some bananas. We work with some animals. So let's show you the first job we're blessed to do every morning when we wake up. It's just right down here. Don't miss our clothes rack on the side. Oh, you missed it. I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> so because there's 27 of us living here and only so many bathrooms and we're in Thailand, the best part of our day is every morning we get to empty the septic tank and feed the plants with said septic. So we get our lovely buckets over here. Our lovely Jessica always manages the hose. She likes to clean it out when it gets clogged. Yes. Um, Poop may get stuck in the filter and that's when I come in. I have to rinse it and get the poop out of the filter. Yeah, we're pretty we're pretty lucky to get to do that every morning. Here's our ministry host Pat. There he is. The come man the legend. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, come on, come on down. We got we have plenty more to show you. Does anyone else want to be in it? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, here's the buckets. You can see they're nice and not clean at all. You usually wanna wear gloves when you pick them up. <laughs> <laughs> so, Pat does some really cool stuff, and um, a lot of it involves animals and farming. Briar, why don't you explain what's going on in this cage over here? Mm, I'd absolutely love to, John. Let's see here. What's going on in this cage is controlled chaos. So, there are a lot of banana trees here that we actually uprooted and replanted in there, and we learned how to do it and do it with love. And that's something that I've learned from, from Pat, that if you do it with love, people will notice. So, I would love for you guys to follow me this way. Put that there for you, the gentleman here. Um, so, over here is um, the uprooted one that we did. It's in great condition. Um, it's thriving right now. Um, and it's really interesting just because the way that Pat kind of uses the analogies of like, <clears throat> how we care for the roots um, kind of shows up in the stuff that's above the ground. Um, so we planted this with a ton of love and we're able to actually see the love come out through what it produces. Um, and in here too, I don't know if we can find them, but there are some, some wildlife uh, here. There is some chickens and she recently had some chicklets, some chicken nuggets, so to speak. So I'm gonna kind of parry them this way like Gandalf did with the ring. But yeah, so there's a few of them there. Um, one of the coolest things I saw was uh, Coco went and one of them got through the gate, which I didn't even lock the gate actually, so let's do that quickly. Oh, thanks John, lock that sucker. Um, yeah, Coco actually hunted that thing down and was able to grab it. So that was really cool to see because she went very calm and very peacefully or I would have gone completely AWOL um, and tried to tackle that thing. But Nicole is amazing and she was able to do that for us. So that was big because losing one of the ministry host chickens would not be a good way to bless the host when you leave. So we're gonna go off to the next thing. I think someone's over there gonna talk about all the bamboo trees and all that good stuff. <laughs> all right, so we've made it to our next, next cage. We're not going to go in here because luckily we get to see the, the rabbits just kind of festering in the front of the cage mm. and uh, we don't get to see them very often. There's also some more chickens in here which will be sold at a later date. Um, one of the reasons we come in here the most is to cut bamboo down because we're making said hut you already learned about at the beginning of the video. You have to really be careful though because bamboo out here is rather dangerous and one slide across the neck and you can get pretty pretty nasty stuff going on down there. I learned it from a friend. Um, so yeah, that's that's what we got going on here. Chickens, rabbits, bamboo shoots. Mm. Silly rabbit, those tricks are for kids. Here is some more animals that Pat has on the farm. Let's go check them out. I might even wrestle one for you today. Ooh. Shout out to my friend Abby. Here we have some pigs. 
Oh. You didn't know what kind of animal those were. These are pigs. Um, Pat raises them, and then he takes the pigs. He'll give a male and a female pig away to a family that needs them. And then when they have a baby, they have to give them back, or give babies back to Pat. Um, so just kind of a constant cycle of raising them, um, and it gives the family nutrition and food to eat. Um, so there's a lot of baby ones, a lot of big ones, medium-sized ones. Um, this little piggy went to the market. That piggy right there went to the market. <laughs> this is quite a pig sty. And Briar, um, they like to eat the the banana trees that we've uprooted. This is our transportation, which is key to going to ministry every day and doing what we do when we do it and how we do it. This car is about 700,000 baht, which is roughly a certain amount in USD. Um, it fits about 27 people, uh, Danielle and Maya up there on top. Exactly how she's feeling right now. It's got a good amount of miles on it, but it's still worth quite a bit. Hums pretty nice. And the cool thing is, in the back, there is a ton of seating room. Lots of time for stories and fun stuff. And the front, it's, it's a manual, by the way, which is unique. We know that Kristen can drive it very well. And everything's tinted. There's no loss here for tinted. So even this front, the front windshield is tinted, which is fantastic. So it keeps everything a little darker, a little cooler. So we're going to off to the next thing.